welcome to Grace and Lottie's. Elizabeth here. This is part two of my more in-depth uh, or how-to on doing designs similar to this. In the last video, I created this one, and today we're going to be working on the square. Now, there are lots of ways to make a square. I just cut my paper here to a square eight and a half around, and the best way I know to do it is with my little ruler here like I used in the last one which has a nice guide on it so I can sit and just line it up. So I'm going to do a half inch border around the edge of my design. I'm just going to start that with my handy dandy five pigment liner so I can see right here that half inch starts at four goes to right there. So that's pretty easy. I'm going to rotate it around so that I can get this nice and straight to start. That didn't turn out so great. I'm gonna do it from this side here. Let's clean that up. I'm real happy with that line. There we go. A little bit heavy, but that's okay. It's a border. You can make your border a little heavy. side right here. Now I'm going to be doing a new variation. I've been playing around with it. So it's going to involve me using two of my pins, my three and my five together at the same time. I'm going to be doing multiple lines as I go around. So it's a slightly different than the last one. But using the same idea like I've been done in the past, which is you line up with your corner. And then I'm going to do a... A uh, quarter inch in, and that's why this ruler is so awesome for that. And you can get these uh, drafting rulers in smaller sizes, and I do have links below for them. I'm going to draw my first line with my three. And there. Nice and tight. Now I'm going to do a second line. You're going to see, I'm excited about the way this one's going to turn out because it's different. Instead of doing the bumps like we've done in the past, these are going to be more like chisel tips and we're going to end up looking like a folded fan on the way in, which is oh, so just a little bit there. I wasn't holding it very tightly. So it gets way down there in the bottom. So a very subtle difference between the three and the five, but it will make a difference. So uh, just stick with those guys. And now I'm going to start at this outer corner and line up. Make it right there with my quarter inch mark, grabbing my O3. And we're going to pull that in as tight as we can. Now I am rotating my paper around this time, so I really want to make sure these lines are nice and tight on this one. Because with having a pointed design like we're going to get to here in a little bit, these being precise is really important. There's not a whole lot of room to be off. So 
rather than trying to hold my paper still for you guys, I'm going to be rotating it so I can work well, so we get a good product. Back in with that size 05. Right here. Now my five is trying to die on me a little bit. Hopefully it'll last through the video. So again, half inch, or sorry, quarter inch, half inch. And keep that same measurement. Let's just spiral in here. Line her up. Now I'm lining up the corner up here of that last of the point up in there to get that measurement nice and square. Just a little bit over. One with the three and now one with the five. Nice and tight, so half inch, and then with the five. Okay, rotate again. My corner now on this one is kicked in just a little bit because we're looking at that previous mark. It's not a huge amount, but it's moved some. On our next set of lines, we'll notice it even more. So line that up a little bit. In with the three. And then in with the five. Quarter inch and half inch. It's very repetitive if you go around. Sometimes it gets confusing as to which side you're on. You're going around and around and around in the circles. Okay. I'm lining up in here now, and I'm coming up here. Right there at the joint. Three. And now I'm going to use the five with the half inch. You could also use your one if you wanted to have an even uh, bigger contrast between your lines. So. I'm okay with the difference being subtle on this. I've got my three in my hand. I double check, double check, double check. <laughs> when you're going back and forth a lot, it's easy to pick up the wrong one. Okay, quarters in. A little spot there. I'm going to line that up. Get that line in as tight as I can against the ruler. That keeps it nice and precise. It's always a challenge. It's getting that spot so that your points line up well. Okay. When I do two more, then I'll spin. Beat it up as I finish, as I get well, until I get closer to the middle. So I'm thinking three, lining up my half inch right in there. 
I like to use the ones on this ruler that have the little arrows. It makes it easier to see for me. Now there are a lot of grid marks on here to use. So I'm going to make a half inch line and now I'm going to move it to a full inch. I'm going to mark up with my lint here. And grab in my five. Looks good. in and I'll speed it up. Again, lining up my quarter inch right there, right at this point. I'm using the five. Now I'll speed it up as I finish, just going back and forth between the three and the five, the half inch, or the quarter inch and the half inch. We're going to spiral pretty tight in here. And we'll get to what's going to make this one different from the others.
cool as it is I'm probably not gonna leave these little ones here in the middle but instead I just color this whole middle in here black but I thought well I'll see how far in I can go before it's really a hot mess and it started going and going crazy through here so that's where that is so what the next step is a little bit different and this is one of the new things that I came up with I haven't seen anybody do this that doesn't mean it doesn't exist out there but I think of this like a folded fan. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a mark here at a quarter inch. Actually, yeah, that's a quarter inch. And actually it's easier to line it up like this and do the quarter inches like that. On all of these darker lines, I'm just gonna go in doing the quarter inch. I am covering that right up with my head. Okay, now let me move my head out. Sorry, guys, I'm realizing that. Let's show you again. A quarter inch right here. Quarter inch here. Quarter inch here. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to do this on all of them. Well, all of the lines I did with my uh, five. It's every other going in. It's going to create something pretty cool here in a minute. But we have to do the setup first. <laughs> it's going to create a folded fan effect. Sorry, I keep getting my head in the shot, guys. Going tight in. started getting all kinds of crazy. So now, <laughs> repeat, I'm gonna do this four times around so I'll speed it up for you so that you don't have to stay in real time as I'm doing just more quarter inches.
they are all in place now. Now I can switch to a little ruler. Say hello to my little ruler. And what I'm gonna do, so now we're gonna start creating our fan pieces. So we're gonna go from up here, and we're gonna combine them like that. I'm just gonna zigzag. Lots of zigzags. That's gonna help us create our pieces of make them look like fans. So instead of these being Um, around, we've now got a bunch of little sword points, kind of. Now that you see what I'm doing on this, I will speed this up.
now ready for the next step. I'm going to use my eight. I'm going to go in and start putting in all of the black here in the background. So another one of those steps that take a little while. Let me get it where you can see it really well here on the camera. I'm just going to go in and start filling all of this in. That's why I've got a larger pen to do all of this because it takes a little bit. And I will speed up this really, really, really boring part. This is, well, it does a lot to the look. It's not really exciting to watch, so I'm just going to go in now and do all of these. I'm trying to get it where you can see well. sure what I'm going to do in this middle so I'm gonna go ahead and just color all of this black for right now and I may once I see what shape it is come out just a little bit here I may take that one over too but um, it's a lot to color in so bear with me as I just get started and just start going because I want it black I
thought about maybe doing it in like a metallic gel pen and I may come back and do that later, but the lines are there, it's from the rest of the design, so it's not real hard to come back in and fix that if I want to. I'll for sure go black and we'll see what it looks like in this shape and then it may just be that I do more. finished. I'm very happy about the way this turned out. I'm not going to do any other modifications other than that little spot where I messed up. It seems I can't ever do one of these without having that little bit of a mess up. So I'm going to go back, fix that with a little gel pen. I will scan this one and put it up on my blog for it to be a coloring sheet. So you can go over there and find it there. It'll be free. So if you want to download it and then color it, you can. It will be there for you. So that finishes it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe as well as you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am at Grace and Lotties. And remember that art happens in everyday life. Make sure you're watching for it. Bye.